know anything about the game of poker, you're probably familiar with what is called a royal flush. A royal flush is made up of the 10, jack, queen, king, and ace cards that are all the same suit. What's significant about this hand is that if you are ever so lucky as to have it, you're guaranteed to win. And thus, you're foolish enough to fold. But why would you fold when you're holding a royal flush? It's the king of all hands, no matter what anyone else is holding. Or even if they try to cheat, you can't lose. So if someone is holding a royal flush, it's pretty obvious what they should do. They should go all in. Meaning, they should put everything they have in the pot because there's no chance of losing. The only reason you wouldn't go all in is because you don't know what a royal flush is. Can you imagine how foolish you would feel if you folded only to learn later that you couldn't lose? Permit me to make an unrefined metaphor. Jesus is our royal flush. When we know who Jesus is, we will know we can't lose. No matter who is betting against you, you can trust Jesus gets the final word of victory. It might be a crude analogy, but it does point to the reality the last book in the Bible makes. Picture with me a high stakes poker game while hearing these words from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood and made us to be a kingdom, pre-serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever, amen. Jesus being proclaimed as Lord of Lords and King of Kings is a royal flesh proclamation indeed. Those who put their complete trust in his hands should always be confident to go all in with no fear of loss. Sure, the poker analogy can break down in many ways, seeing that nothing compares to the one who has been crowned King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But don't let that bluff you into believing that Jesus is anything less than your sovereign and sufficient King. With Jesus, you always win. I'm Kara Garrity, Speaking of Life. Thanks for watching GCI's Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it and were inspired. We'd love to connect with you, so be sure to like us on Facebook. You can also check out more on our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the most current GCI news. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.